What's up guys, PowerGPU here. Um, as you can see, I did a complete turnaround. I was gonna get the GTX 590, um, but I decided to go with the AMD Radeon 6990 just because Dark MX 1000 already has uh, the 590, so I didn't want to get the same exact car and then you see the same exact reviews going on on both channels. Um, what I want to do too is I want to benchmark this against Ryan's uh, 2570's RMP Connect and Dark's 590 GTX. So I want to get that in comparison so you guys can see the difference if it's better off going with two 570s or 1590 or 16990 and we'll do four, you know, full videos and everything on there, okay? Um, this is just a simple unboxing video so let's go ahead and take a look at this card, okay? Hold on here and grab all this out of the way. No, I don't need a knife as I said before in my last videos. No need. So let's throw that away. Let's grab the scissors. I've heard mixed reviews too of the 6990, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm expecting out of these two out of these cars. Um, one thing I will let you know, I did go with one for right now. I will be getting a second one in a month, um, and I will do the quad fire on it. So as you can see, it's just a simple box, nothing too extreme, nothing like the 590 GTX was as far as presentation goes. Um, so here we got the quick installation guide, which we don't have to worry about. The drivers for it, which of course we get the drivers from online, we don't worry about that. And a bunch of that, whatever. We'll throw that away. All right, let's get the card here. Mackerel, I'm going to side. Let's go into here and grab stuff the way that the pack is really strange. Okay. Alright, now this guy comes with a lot of adapters. Alright, so first up we got here is HDMI to mini display port. Then we have mini display port to DVI, dueling DVI. Then we have mini display port to standard display port. Then we have another dueling DVI to mini display port. So you don't have to worry about buying a display port, active display port adapter. This already comes with two of them already on. There. So that's really nice. Uh, one thing I do like about this card is it actually brings a 6-pin to 8-pin conversion with it. And it's actually covered. It's not the whole little tacky looking yellow different colored one. It comes with two of them. So you already have two 8-pins on there for you. Alright, and then here we're going to have the SLI crossfire bridge. Right here. So that gives you so you can do the two-way crossfire on there. Um, and then, oh look at that. I'm sorry, that was my phone ringing, guys. That was Ryan calling me. RMP. Let's put that on vibrate. Um, then it comes with the DVI to VGA adapter. All right. So that's pretty much as far as the accessories. A lot of accessories. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Everything here. The way it was. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. Now on to the cart. Um, as you can see. This thing is the size of my forearm. This is freaking huge. Wow. Look at this thing. That is a beast of a car. Good lord. That is 12 inches, guys. 12 inches of glory. That's what they call it. If you can see here, it's got a nice back plate on here, so it covers your PCV on there as far as the back portion goes. Um, let's go over the inputs real quick. Input wise, you got DVI, dueling DVI, and you got one, two, three, four mini display port adapters. So you can actually do four model, uh, monitors in total. It is a rear exhaust um, type of video card. It has a fan here in the middle. 
so it blows all the air upwards and it sucks it in from this way as well. It's got two vapor chambers as well, just like the 590 does. Um, in this card, you've probably seen online, it does measure in at 12 inches in length. So make sure you do have a case that fits this because this card is enormous. I've never seen a card this big before in my life. Um, you can see the PCI Express slot there. Uh, very little compared to, I mean, the whole thing. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Here's my monitor. I mean, it, it, it's, it's massive. It's just a big card. I like the design that Power Color came out with as far as, I don't know what they are, but some knights with some nice lightsabers, whatever you call it. Um, as you can see, it does take two 8-pin connectors on there, so it does draw 375 watts of peak power. And then right here you have your crossfire bridge there. Um, you want to take that off before, of course, you put it in the card. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and put this down. Um, I'll take a few pictures of it so you guys can enjoy a little bit closer view on there. Um, please subscribe, leave some comments, uh, let me know what I can improve on. And stay tuned for a few videos of single uh, 6990. Um, and then a month later with quad fire with two of them running in crossfire. All right, guys, PowerGP signing out. See you guys in the next one.